Okay, so today I wanted to start off with Shannon Doherty. You know, RIP to the 90210 star. She did pass uh, last week or a couple weeks ago in um, the battle of breast cancer. She's been battling it since 2015. And she had some, some things to say about her passing right before she passed. So she had a podcast. It's called Let's Be Clear. And she said there are, she's getting ready, right? She knew she was passing. She was getting ready for her time. And there was a couple of stipulations in her, I guess, in her contract when she's passed, I guess. Yes, what is it called? Uh, her final moment. Her will, right? Her will. There was a couple of stipulations in her will um, that there were some people who were not invited to her funeral. There was literally a list of names that she said, I do not want to see these people at my funeral. Mm. She ne It's never been released as to who it is, but she basically said, you know, they're only going to go because it's politically correct and behind closed doors, basically, they're going to be like, I'm glad this B is gone is gone <laughs> so she said i don't want any of that energy at my funeral right, and right, right. so she made a list of people saying they're not allowed to be here um and i want to say one of them probably is her ex-husband because you guys the day before she passed she also finalized her divorce from her husband so she said i'm going and i'm going on my terms and these people are not allowed there and this is what's going to happen so what, what do you guys think about her making a list of I people who are not allowed i to think go she's to very funeral? angry at the time to I mean for you thinking about who you want to exclude when you die it's just a, it's just a lot of negative energy for me okay it's a it's a it's um you have differences with people and it is what it is I mean it to me it just shows what she was in her life to still have those type of feelings towards people and she did not let go and move past that and it's quite frankly it's a little sad that she she thought that way. I think that she's done enough work in the entertainment space that she's revered and people appreciate her, love her. But if you go way back, she's always had issues and people with like a lot of disagreements with people that she's worked with Correct. in her whole career. So Correct. either they were the problem or rest in peace, she was the problem. And at the end of the day, that's just what it is. I just think it was it's petty, but it's her last moments or whatever. And why would I want to show up to somebody that I didn't like anyway? No, because she says that they're going to show up to, to like save face, to be like, oh, my God, I miss her so much. And she had such an impact on me. And I'm so sad she's gone. But that's like not how they really feel. Like they're doing it because people expect her them to go to the funeral yeah, but a bigger moment would be not showing up to someone's funeral that's a big thing like why didn't such and such show it up and I, if i don't show up that speaks volumes as well well now we know if, they I, are, they if I don't show list. up and i'm doing tiktoks at the house you know it's the first i've ever heard of somebody yeah, that's crazy not even here that's saying crazy. who and who cannot show up to their funeral that is it is it's just crazy have you guys like, ever thought well, of something like that for yourself i mean what do you what do you think about it like i know it's that's crazy just, i don't like it you know, oh. um, I just think that I agree. you're not here anymore, right? Now, it's one thing if it's a will, I understand. You wrote that before you were gone. This is what, you know, you want to happen. But, like, I don't know if people even put in their will, like, who they want and stuff at their view. Because it's know. not it's just, even something you should be thinking about. Um, yes, I don't. That's crazy. I mean, now I'm, I'm now I'm giving other people ideas now, Luminary community. Like, people in there, people are going to be like, that's a good idea. I'm going to go to my will right now. I'll put people I don't want. Ray Ray and them ain't coming. They don't, they don't even want to come. Um, I love it. I love <laughs> that she made love it. I love that she put it in her will that some certain people can't go. Just petty. I mean, I, I've been there. I've been like... Okay, I like telling my best friend just just so you know if I like act, you know die before my time and it's like um you know unexpected this person's not allowed to be there this person's not allowed to be there you have them escorted out. Uh, uh. So you come you coming back like if they're there? To me it's like it's I'm coming her, back as a ghost. I'm me, coming to skate. To me it's like it's her <laughs> it's her last say about it it's like her final words about it i love it i think it's it? so cool she's like stand, she's standing up for herself she's basically like i don't want people crying over me final when words in, of hate in real life uh, it's not out of hate though because she wants her funeral to be a place of love and in that um people who loved her to be in that space and people to give her final respects and final wishes of like her Passing. Wow. Who people and who why actually would you, loved her? Who yeah. people who actually loved her? She doesn't want people who are have fake love to her to be at her funeral. So what that's I'm such, saying that's such an insult. Yeah, of course. And what I'm saying is, contrast the people that did not really love her like that. I don't think they would show up anyway. 
But she thinks that they would show up because it makes them look good. I think mentally that's crazy, and she doesn't know what she's talking about. Yeah. For her to be like, these people don't love me, but they're going to show up anyway to, to save face. And like, what do they get out of it? Like, if you don't like me and I, I show up to your funeral, how does that even benefit me in any way? It happens every day. People show up to other people's funerals that they don't like every I day. Out that of, they don't out like? Of, yeah. Because they are, they're... Well, it, you have people that have disagreements, but if you don't like somebody... I don't see why somebody takes the time to go to a funeral where you don't like them. Well, it, it, it makes could them be, look good. It could be an intricate it, it situation. Right. I, I guess so, my question is, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's the benefit for me, the person that's not liked. So going to, how do I win in that situation? So I, uh, what do I, I don't win? know yeah. if this is the case. I'll, wait, hold go on. I'll, yeah, answer, I'll, I don't answer, that part I'll answer it to you. It's because then those people show up and they're like, oh, my God, I loved her. She was amazing. She was the best. Oh, I thought you guys had a feud. No, that was on her head. She made that up. Like, I've, I've loved so her. So now you look good. Now I look good, and I'm putting her down. But I look good to who? The to people. The people. She's she's not talking about regular degular. She's talking about other yeah. actors. So I, the, I the world. The world. And I'll kind of like, I'll break it in, and I'm not going to, Luminary Community, please, I'm not saying that this is what it is, but just an example. You're an actor, right, Junior? You have an agent, right? Mm-hmm. Your agent works with you, eh, get to a couple of shows. You decide, you know what, I'm leaving this agent. People that you're cool with, family, friends, are like, Junior don't like this agent anymore. Something happened. We don't know the full story, but he went on to agent B. Mm -hmm. He's on some, somebody else. Something happens. You're no longer here. Agent A that you no longer are with anymore is like, psh. I'm going to his funeral. Now we don't know the backstory of if you had beef with him, you left him we left with and him. And I don't left him. and I don't and as an agent, I don't like my client anymore, right? Well, there's there's maybe you took some money from him that like Oh, that's we, a that's a like we don't we don't really know the backstory. It's just we're family and friends. We just know you're no longer with agent A anymore. You've moved on and now you're with agent B. Agent A shows up to to the funeral. Like Missy says, "Hey man, I'm Alternate, here. I'm with showing, alternative uh, motivations or alternative. Right. I'm, I'm just here to pay respects. See, in, in our head, we, we don't know the full story. We're just like, we thought they weren't cool, but now he's paying respects. So now it looks good for Agent A. Like, oh, they were on good terms. Like, he was cool. Like, I don't know why people are saying he took his money and stuff like that. He actually, he showed up. And maybe he went because you one, he looked saying? good. And then two, what I, if he was trying to like get more clients out get of Get more funeral? clients, exactly. So there's so many different well, There's so many different things. Maybe it's, they uh, want to get pictured going walking into the funeral. It's a, it's a good example. I understand that. But, you know, people have different, uh, from the agent's uh, example, people go through different agents all the time. It doesn't necessarily mean that... There's a bad blood. I'm talking about for someone who I don't like you. I just don't like you. I don't see somebody who doesn't like somebody showing up. And when I don't like you, to save face for some people who I don't either know that's going to be there or who may be there. But if I don't like you, you have to understand her being a celebrity. She has talked to other people knowing that we have a problem. Why would I show up to other people who I know you have told these people we don't like each other? Why would I do that? Like, it's already been told in the circle that I don't like you, you I don't understand. like me. Why would I show up and put myself in an environment where I'm not liked by that person anyway? I just I don't see that person going all the way out to do that if Shannon has that much expressed she doesn't like the person. That's my point. Got it. As a person, do I don't like you. You see what I'm saying? Not like we've moved on, we did, did business together because you can still respect somebody and be like, man, we had a great career and moved on or whatever. Like Michael Jordan's agent, it's not his agent anymore, right? He's moved on, but he still is on documentary talking about the relationship. They just moved on. So I'm just talking about from the standpoint of somebody that I just don't like you. I don't know why I would put myself in a hostile situation. That just doesn't make sense to I me. think hmm. you personally, you wouldn't do it, but there are a there, lot there are of a lot people, of people who would, would do that. A lot of people that would put themselves... In, that I don't like you, I'm gonna show up. Yes. So, some people are fake. Yeah, I just don't. Fake. I just yeah, I just don't see it. I have a, I have better things to do. That, I, I don't see it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and we talk about Shannon now. We're not just talking about she had she publicly put a lot of people out there anyway. So we can we can do a Google search and you, there's lots of names. Oh, I'm sure. That, I'm that's sure. already out there. I'm sure. Not from the specific list, but from her past history. 
But as Flicks by J and Missy were saying, there are a lot of fake people that just yeah. they just want just the no just the attention. Um, it could be for many other reasons, just like Missy was saying. It could be, hey, you know, I could gain access to friends that she had or people that I wanted to connect to, but I never could because yeah. we weren't on good terms. Now I have access to that. Also, She's not. Also, I know yeah, you were that's saying... That's going to be hard for her to get those clients. I know you were saying that, you know, it comes from a place of hate. But I... If, if you look at it in a different way, in a different perspective, she wanted the attention on her and her life. She didn't want mm. the magazines yep. and the tabloids and the media to be like, oh, my God, this person showed up and didn't they have a feud like 20 years ago? And then it turns all about into their feud and their fight. Like by eliminating those people too. coming in, she it's just about her and her legacy and, you know, the love of the people that, that are there. Yeah, yeah, I see. So the only only uh, funeral that brings up to uh, as as an example of I can't believe you would be here in the history of funerals in the entire world would be when OJ Simpson showed up to Nicole Simpson's funeral that's the only one I could think of mm. where somebody who may not have wanted to be may should not have been there likely showed up I can't think of any other funeral for an entertainment like can you believe well, this person showed up like can you name somebody we don't know everyone that goes to these funerals but that's my whole point like through the history of time you haven't heard of anyone saying this person it's showed up to a funeral for sure as just because we don't I'm know sure it's about happened. it yeah i'm sure it's happened yeah i'm pretty sure that you've had disagreements i'm saying like in the entertainment space that it's been an editorial of somebody showing up to a funeral that this person didn't like that i can't say but yeah, I'm that's sure what's happened saying. it's happened I'm we just sure don't know happened. about it mm -hmm. yeah i'm sure to be for proven sure. yeah i'm not gonna go researching it or yeah. nothing <laughs> but, <laughs> that's what i'm saying it's just it's but true. It's a it's it's a weird situation. Am yeah. I? Would you do something like that? Have a list of, of people you don't want to be there? I would. I don't have time to I, look. I, I got love for Thank everybody. So <laughs> I don't like, have time. I for don't. That. I mean, if you if I'm with if I'm cool with you, I'm cool with you. Like if I don't really deal with you like that, I'm not there. You know. But I mean, everybody's different. People have different reasonings for why they do what they do. So. Right. 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 Um, um, if you got wedding crashes, I'm sure you have funeral, funeral crashes. <laughs> <laughs> funeral crashes, right? Yeah, I'm sure. That, you know? that's, that's tough. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, first of all, I'm just like, you don't even know these people getting married. Why do you want to be there? <laughs> I mean, first of all, it's a great party. You know, the, same the thing music. as a funeral. But, well, yeah, because there, there is, like, you know, the after, right? Yeah, There's you're like, like the food. It's like you're not even drink. cool with but this person a, that died. It, Why are you there? But this is not a DJ after. There. It's not like a DJ when somebody passed away. I don't know. It depends. Do on we who. have a DJ? It depends. Some it people de do. do. Do we do we do oh, that? It depends. See, I'm West African, so well, it's, it's all kind. It's different. <laughs> but New Orleans, they do the second line. It, it's music playing as they hit the streets or whatever. So we do that. It's it's considered so, like yeah, a celebration home, of we life. We do that. We do. It's that. considered a celebration uh, of life. Yeah, yeah. Right. Where, we do the music. I, where I come from, it's a party after, and there is music, yeah. and there is oh, drinking, yeah. and oh, yeah. there, you know, it's a party. You just be like, I thought someone died. You over here having a um a, a step line. <laughs> <laughs>